welcome to lesson one, the beginning. Now, magic is one of the most basic and fundamental components that you have in every single religion on this earth from the beginning of time. Why? It seeks to answer that question by the various practices that certain people have sacred knowledge for. Those people were usually termed the medicine man or the medicine woman, the shaman, the healer. Throughout every religion which has been passed down, magic is there, even to us here in the West. We may think that magic no longer exists. We may think in our technologically advanced scientific world that there's no place for magic, but nothing could be further from the truth. Have you ever lit a birthday cake, had a candle, lit a candle, made a wish upon the candle and then blown the candle out and watched the smoke rise up to the universe, carrying with it your wishes on the rising smoke? That's magic. That's actually a form of magic that we perform. It's called candle magic and you're going to learn to do that. But if you've made that wish on a birthday cake, chances are you've already started practicing magic. How many footballers and sports people have a special pair of boots or a special sport item that they wear in competitions because they believe it gives them good luck? Do you have a sacred pin or brooch that somebody gave you that is meaningful to you? Magic is meaning. Magic makes things happen because magic stems from you. It is that belief that you put onto something. It is that wish, that intent that you put onto something when you make a wish on that birthday candle. It's from you. The universe listens and helps you.